So you join me today at Cathcart Railway Station. Now in the first video, we looked at the 1886 route from Glasgow Central towards Cathcart. Today we're going to be completing the circle as we're going to look at the 1894 route from Cathcart to Glasgow Central by Maxwell Park. So on this part of the video, we are joined by Jordan. You all right, Jordan? Yeah, I'm fine, yep. So we are now waiting for the 1204 ScotRail service to Glasgow Central. And the first calling point on the 1894 part of the Cathcart Circle is Langside. Shut up! So we have now made it to the first station on the 1894 part of the Cathcart Circle Line. This is Langside. And also this is a junction station for trains going towards Newton, which avoid Cathcart. But what I have noticed is, because I have done these stations before actually, and one thing I've noticed is on the Glasgow Central to Cathcart by Mount Florida side, those stations are staffed. But on this side of the Cathcart Circle, from Langside to Pollock Shields West, they're unstaffed. Very interesting, that one, to be honest. So let's talk about Langside Station. Now this station opened on the 2nd of April 1894 by the Cathcart District Railway as Langside. In 1901 it was actually relayed to Langside in Lulands, but it was reverted back in 1962 to Langside. Also in 1966 the original station buildings were burnt down. So we are now waiting for the 1235 Scott Rail service to Glasgow Central and the next station on route is Pollock Shores East, which is one of two stations with the word Pollock we shall visit today. What a load of Pollocks. So we have now made it to Pollock Shores East. This is one of two stations in Pollock Shores, as the other station, Pollock Shores West, is on the Barhead slash East Kilbride line. But to be honest though, I actually prefer Pollock Shores West than Pollock Shores East, because Pollock Shores East, it's just got your basic facilities here, to be honest. It's got kind of no character, but Pollock Shores West does have a bit of character. So I'm now going to talk about the history of Pollock Shores East Station. It opened on the 2nd of April 1894 by the Cathcart District Railway. To be honest, there's not really much to say about this station. So the next train we're going to catch is the 1308 Scott Rail service to Glasgow Central, but we're getting off at Shorelands. Unfortunately though, George is actually going to be heading back. Yes. So good seeing you on this trip, Simon. Yeah, it's That's nice to see you again, Jordan. 
So Jordan will be leaving us, but I'm going to carry on the journey on the Cathcart Circle. So we have now arrived at the next station of the Cathcart Circle, this is Shawlands. And honestly, this station is really basic, to be honest with you. The only thing interesting about this railway station is the station footbridge. But the last time I was here, I actually remember hearing rumblings of the Barhead Line, which is pretty close to this railway station. So I'm now going to dive into the history of Shawlands and to be honest there's not really much to say apart from this station opened on the 2nd of April 1894 by the Cathcart District Railway. So we're now waiting for the 1338 Scott Rail service to Glasgow Central. And the next station I'm stopping off at does really have some character. And I honestly can't wait to show you this railway station, but the next station is Maxwell Park. So we have now made it to Maxwell Park and that station building right behind me is just absolutely magnificent. It's not in railway use apart from the exit and entrance to the station, that's it. But it's a lovely station building to look at on the Cathcart Circle line. And this is why Maxwell Park is one of my favourite stations on the Cathcart Circle. It also takes its name from the nearby Maxwell Park, which is literally next door to the railway station. So I'm now going to talk about Maxwell Park Station and honestly it has the same history than the other stations on this line opened on the 2nd of April 1894 by the Cathcart District Railway. However though Maxwell Park Station building is actually a category B listed building. That station building at Maxwell Park is absolutely magnificent. I do enjoy seeing that station building. There was another station that had a similar station building to that, and it's the next station we are going to, Pollock Shields West. But unfortunately, that station building's no longer there, which I'll explain more when I get to that station. So I'm now waiting for the 1412 Scott Rail service to Glasgow Central, but we're going to visit the penultimate station, Pollock Shields West. So we have that made to the penultimate station, this is Pollock Shields West, which is one of two stations of Pollock Shields because the other station is Pollock Shields East, but that's the start of the Cathcart Circle if you're heading towards Pollock Shields West. In fact, I'm going to try in a minute, see if there's a ticket from Pollock Shields East to Pollock Shields West. But the station building though at Pollock Shields West used to be the same station building as Maxwell Park but I think the station building actually caught fire, got destroyed. And what you see today is the replacement for that. So I'm now going to talk about Pollock Shields West Station. To be honest, 
It's basically the same history than the other stations. It opened on the 2nd of April 1894 by the Cathcart District Railway. So I'm going to go to the ticket machine now and let's see if we get a ticket for Pollock Shields East to Pollock Shields West. So I'm now going to find out if we could get a ticket from Pollock Shields East to Pollock Shields West. So I'm going to A to Z Destination Finder and let's type in P O L L. There we go. Pollock Shields East does show up right there. So I'm going to click it and let's go one way. It won't let me click. There we go. A time day single £2.30. So yes. You can get a ticket from Pollock Shields West to Pollock Shields East. And it'll cost you £2.30 single. So before we leave Pollock Shields West Station, there is a disused station pretty close by. I'm going to head to that disused railway station to show you which one it is. But it has featured in a video that I have done with some Glasgow disused railway stations back in 2021. So the disused station I've come to is Strathbungo, which is literally next door to Pollock Shields West Station. And the last time I was here was in 2021, it had a different footbridge and the old station building was still intact. But with the electrification of the Barhead route happened, it's got a new footbridge, which does look good to be honest, but the old station building, which was a local landmark, has disappeared. See that DRS Class 66 diesel locomotive at the former Strathbungo station was brilliant to see. In fact, I think it was doing a driver training run from East Kilbride to Motherwell. So it could be used for the electrification of East Kilbride in the future, maybe. Well, I'm now back at Pollock Shields West Station waiting for the 1540 ScotRail service. And it's now time to head back to Glasgow Central to complete the Cathcart Circle. So we have that ride back at Glasgow Central Station. But I'm going to head to the River Clyde now to take a look at the River Clyde because I think in this video, while well, I beat to Scotland most of the time, we have not seen the River Clyde yet. So I have left Glasgow Central Station. You actually join me on the banks of the River Clyde. I think it's about time we actually saw the River Clyde in a video, to be honest with you. But riding the 1894 stretch of the Cathcart Circle has really been interesting, but it's also been a bit meh. Because from Cathcart towards Glasgow Central by Maxwell Park, you actually don't really get much traffic on that stretch, to be honest. You get your hourly Cathcart full circle service each way, and you get your Glasgow Central to Luton service each way. That's about it. So technically, it's about four trays per hour. But apart from Maxwell Park, which is a beautiful station, all the other stations have been okay, to be honest. But it has really been fun riding the full Cathcart Circle in both videos. But if you haven't seen that other video yet, I'm going to pop it right here. I'm going to ride the 1886 stretch from Glasgow Central to Cathcart by Mount Florida. People on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Side Trace. thanks for watching, stay safe. I'll see you next time for another video down the line.